my pitches felt good. Guys were making some good plays behind me. Um, it was good, just an unfortunate sixth inning, sixth inning there. Um, you know, made a bad pitch to Sucre. And then they just found some holes and uh, scored a couple right there on us. Talk about that sixth inning. You weren't hit particularly hard by any stretch of the imagination. Does that just add to the frustration there, giving up a couple of runs? Yeah, you know, they just found holes. They got some good breaks right there. Um, you know, it was unfortunate, but I felt good about how I threw the ball today and uh, just look forward to continue building off of uh, this outing moving forward. You talked a couple of days ago for start as a Yankee, maybe some, some extra jitters, some extra nerves out there. Did you feel any of that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I felt it going out there the first inning. I was pretty excited, you know, nervous, all that stuff. But uh, I felt good about it. I just let it energize me and um, I felt like I handled it pretty well. Did you hear the reaction when you left the mound? Did you hear the applause from the, from the crowd? Did you I hear did. The yeah, that that was great. You know, to get that uh, that acknowledgement from the crowd. Um, you know, I tipped my cap to them, and um, it was it was great to to hear them out there. Aaron had said that you probably could have finished that sixth inning. Did you feel like you were getting a little tired there? Or no, I felt great. You know, I felt really good. I was expecting to keep on going, but, you know, I get it with our bullpen. And it's early in the season. You know, hopefully uh, later into the season as things get going here, I'll be allowed to get closer to 100 pitches and uh, keep on grinding. It's so tough with a with a young team because when they you know when they start getting on base they do things they take the extra base they play excited is it tougher with a team like that? Well, I think they knew I was throwing the ball pretty well, and uh, I think they they knew they had to take their chances when they had them. Uh, you know, I think moving up from uh, from second to third on the fly ball to center field, I think they're just like they got to go for it. You know, because I was throwing throwing the ball well, and uh, they knew that that was probably their their chance to score some runs. James Lemayhu hadn't played much third base at this level before today, but he obviously made some good plays behind you. What did you think? Yeah, it looked like he was an everyday third baseman. You know, he was making some really good plays out there. He looked, he looked super comfortable. Uh, made a really nice play on a hard ground ball, and then uh, he came and got some. And made, he made it look easy. You know, he, he's great over there. James, you said in the first inning you were feeling a lot of the emotions. When did that kind of dissipate, and then it becomes more just like a regular day? I think after the first inning, you know, once I got through the first inning, it was like, all right, same game, just different place. And, uh, you know, I still felt the, the intensity of it, which is great. You know, I love that. I just use that for energy. Um, but I think after that first inning, I kind of got my sea legs a little bit and, uh, and felt good about it.